You're part okay. of the choir. All right. But who, who is it that's coming to you? I mean, Majestic. What about Majestic? Are you familiar with the Majestic Oh, yes, 12? yes, yes. Well, how, they don't on, call they, themselves that anymore, but I they understand. Exist. What do they call themselves? What's their new oh, name? You know it? Yeah, well, it used to be. PI-40 was the last term I heard. PI-40. All right, well, I'll, I, that's fine. So there's 40? I don't know what the hell that means. There's probably 40 members of it now. Uh-huh. And have they approached you? I've met several of them, yeah. Uh-huh. Because they know you're very well informed. Well, if we get back to the subject here we were talking about just briefly earlier. Why the hell have I gotten away with what I, right. I, I've okay. succeeded in doing? I've got a big mouth, I've come out bluntly and honestly, and I've shared my anger. But I think, and I've said this publicly, mm -hmm. after I began speaking all over the world and all over this country about subjects as sensitive as the ones we've just been talking about, I concluded that there was someone somewhere who wanted me to do this. Sure. Or I could not have gotten away with it. Absolutely. And I don't know who that someone is. I may have met him or her. They may have been among those who have come up to me at conferences and shook my hand and said, damn good job, keep it up, you know, something okay, like that. Okay, so what, what Dan Burrish says is that part of Majestic once disclosure and part of majestic well, does not 20 years ago they were split down the middle all right we know this right uh, so what do you think of, what do you think it's at today do you think that do you robert think woods you know who bob woods is absolutely yes. okay you know his son ryan yes all right bob woods said this to me at a conference in long beach a long time ago he said i know two members of majestic he says they they said they're split down the middle, and he says it's a ferocious damn fight. He says it's vicious. He says one half says yes, bring it out. The other half says not only no, but hell no, and not ever. And that group is still calling the shots. Okay. You see, we, we've got a, a shadow government there. I, this is a little bit of interest to, to me as an American. It should be interest to you. Absolutely. Do you know how much money a trillion dollars is? No concept, but it's a I, lot. I hear you. Yeah. Okay. In this country, for three years, 98, 99, and 2000, each year there was $2.7 trillion missing from the Pentagon accounts that they could not figure out where the money went. They knew they had it, and then it was gone. Now that's 2.7 trillion a year for three years. Now, you think these guys aren't funded well? Oh, hell, they're, they're funded better than the United States Army, for Christ's sake. The United States Army doesn't get that kind of... You know, we get money in the billions, but not in the trillions, and not 2.7 trillion a year for three years. Right. Are you referring to Catherine Ann Fitz, her uh, research? Well, I, I re I've never met the lady. I have oh. a great deal of respect for her. Sure. Uh, I have a, a very close dear friend who, uh, I will tell you this, and I will deny I ever said it. Okay. There's a member of PI-40, who runs a think tank in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. No? Well, it's a source. She might want to talk to him. He's a man I trust, a man I admire and respect, and he is on the inside. And he told Catherine one time, he says, you want to meet an alien? Mm -hmm. I can arrange it. And she got... And she evidently scurried off. Right. And so... He was never forced to deliver on his promise. But if you ever are in Washington and you get a chance, say hello to John for me, will you? I will do that. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I that trust story is on Catherine's website. She oh, says is she it? always regretted that she never this took day him up on that. She didn't take him <laughs> All up. All right. Well, John is one who not only knows aliens, but he's probably got a couple on his board. That's, that's that. how involved we are with at least one group. Absolutely. Now, everybody says, which group is which, you know? Uh, are, are they the lizards? Are they the reptiles? Or are they this? Or are they that? 
it doesn't matter. We're dealing with some groups out there that are a million years ahead of us in evolution, technology, and development. There are intelligent races out there that are a billion years ahead of us. We, we found stars out there that probably have planets that are three times as old as our star, meaning that probably the planets and an intelligent life on those planets around those stars are maybe three times older. We've been here, what, 11 billion? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nothing. The, the universe, is the last they figured it was 14 billion. And then they had a, an astronomer on us. I love this. They had an astronomer one day who said, we can't figure this out. We found stars that are older than the universe. <laughs> and I thought, nitwit, do you think perhaps you ought to go back to the drawing board? that maybe you missed something in Astronomy 101. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, I, I, I diverge here. Well, what actually, I'm trying to tell you is we are immersed in a universe that is conscious, mm -hmm. teeming with conscious intelligence. And there are planets out there like grains of sand filled with intelligent life. Mm -hmm. And there are cultures, civilizations, societies that are a million years ahead of us. Now, I, used, I like this because it's an exercise I, I'd like to throw out to kids. I put together a curriculum one time for grade school kids on, on this subject. Mm -hmm. They'd have burned me at the stake. The school board would have if I had ever tried to get this <laughs> thing accepted. But when you stop to think about these realities, that this species, in, in all of its primitive savageness, savagery, with all of its limited, heartbreaking, ignorant, stupid way of trying to go about life, that there are cultures and civilizations and societies out there that, if not perfect, have reached a level so far beyond what we have here. Mm -hmm. And that I know this and I sense this and I feel this in my gut. And that's why I pick up the paper and I read the latest garbage and the killings. And it, it's no wonder that I have not become a recluse. I cannot live in that world anymore. And I, the reason I think I gave you earlier is that my old world view, my paradigm, collapsed around my knees 20 years ago. Sure. Now, if it's turned me into a cynical recluse, what would it do to the masses of people out there that are going about their tiddly-ass little business their little lives, going bowling, going to NASCAR races, <sighs> drinking their beer, chomping their chips, and thinking that this is, this is a good life. When you and I know that that's not so. Right. Well, actually, you show me a remarkable amount of, of consciousness, of love, of you know, you have a, a, a vibrant spirit that's, that's, that's very...